Hello Star Wars fans and welcome to this, my review of Django Fett 2002 versus Django Fett 2013. As you can see we have both Django Fetts in front of us. The one on the left, this side, is the original Django Fett, like I said, from 2002 and that is from Set 7153, Django Fett's Slave 1. You can see there the box for Slave 1 and Django Fett 2013 which is from Set 75015 the Corporate Alliance Tank Droid which you can see the box for there. That set I've reviewed I've done an unboxing, a build and a review for that which is up on my channel the Django Fett Slave one, I will be doing a review um, at a later date, um, hopefully soon, um, to give a review on an older set, obviously 2002. So into the review for these two particular um, minifigures. So starting off with the original um, Django Fett from 2012. You can see here. He comes with the two pistols, and these are obviously the old star pistols. You'll see the new Django Fett in a second, and they are somewhat different. With this particular minifigure, his helmet and jetpack were one item, which we can see there. You can see his face printing, one sided, on a black uh, minifigure head. I'm just going to remove the two pistols. Those to one side. And you can see there's no back printing on this particular Django Fett. His face, he's got a little mic piece, which I'm not sure if you can quite see there. I'm actually filming this on my iPhone 4S, so the zoom stroke focus isn't particularly good, so I apologise for that. Okay, so quite basic torso printing. Now the other thing that this set, or sorry, this minifigure did come with, which the new one doesn't, was a hairpiece. So there we go, that's him with his hair on. So Django Fett and his hair. Okay, you can see that there. Move that, I'm going to put his helmet back on and put him back. Okay, next up is the 2013 Django Fett. Like I said, from the 75015 Corporate Alliance tank droid. Some really good printing on this newer Django Fett. Really see the difference. And there's his pistols. Like I said, they're very different from the original ones. I'm just going to remove those. You can see his front torso and front leg printing. And his helmet, and with this one, the helmet and the jet piece are both separate. So you can see his helmet with an antenna affixed there. Um, it does come with, I think, three additional visors and th three, I believe, additional antennas um, also. So we see his face printing. And again, it's just one sided. You can see his uh, beard or stubble. Um, detail there we can really see the shine on that silver chrome um, front torso printed so his jetpack I said is separate on this one so I'll take that off put his head back on so that's his jetpack piece you see there obviously just fits over his neck okay and onto the rear torso this one does have rear torso printing as well again that silver chrome um, detail there. Okay. So, conclusion out of the two, obviously the newer one comes with a separate jetpack. Um, the torso printing, in fact, the overall printing on the legs, torso, are obviously far better, far more advanced than what they were back in um, 20. 
uh, sorry, uh, 2002, um, compared to obviously now 2013 um, on this particular one. I do quite like, although it's an older one, the face on this one. But that's personal choice. So I think that is pretty much it, guys. So there we have it, the two Django Fets. And this is obviously a long awaited Django Fet. Um, it's taken, what, we now 11 years um, for the new Django Fet to come along. So we now have the original 2002 versus 2013. I guess one comment I would make is I was surprised with regards to the set that they put it in. They decided to put what is a pretty exclusive and long awaited minifigure into, I think, what is out of the summer, uh, 2013 summer set, probably the smallest set and um, cheapest and most affordable. So, surprised to be perfectly honest about that. I would have thought they would have put it into a more exclusive and possibly more expensive set. Um, but again, that's just my opinion. Um, so there we can see it guys, I um, hope you enjoyed this review, um, as always I would appreciate if you would give this a thumbs up, um, really appreciate if you would press that subscribe button um, and support me on my channel, um, and again comments, I would really appreciate comments with regards to just letting me know how I'm doing, um, what you want to see, if there's any particular set you want to see, let me know and I'll see what I can do, um, and share this video please. Um, that's it, I will see you in the next video, cheers.